Hi Scorpio, so I'm going to get straight into your reading and if there's anything that you need to know then it will be in my descriptions box and in my pinned comment. Cross watchers, please remember that you can switch the roles around if needed, okay? Right, this was Scorpio Collective in Love, please. Okay, right, so you've got dreams. Okay, so there's a few different messages that come with this particular card for you, Scorpio. The first one um, initially is, of course, pay attention to your dreams at this point in time because you will be finding um, a lot of strange messages will be coming through to you through your dreams. Another message with this card is don't give up on your dreams. All right um, now, I appreciate that not everything in life is simple and sometimes we have to surrender our dreams in favour of doing the things that we have to take care of on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so it's kind of like a dreams versus reality. Um, they're, they're saying here, don't give up on your dreams, right? Keep them very much active within you because you will find that there'll be an opportunity for you to uh, divulge a little bit into your dreams. And the other message that comes with this is you could be struggling to sleep at this point in time. Um, so th they were suggesting a clear quartz, if you put like a clear quartz or a selenite under your pillow, that could help you to sleep. Um, it, it's getting your physical body into a really good uh into it's a really good pattern of behavior. If possible, find some wind down time about an hour or so before bedtime, just to help you drift off a bit easier. Um, so yeah, a lot of different messages here for a lot of different scorpions. Obviously, depending on where you are currently with your journey, then you'll know which of those messages are applicable to you, okay? Um, there's an additional message here about reality. Someone daydreaming. I'm not feeling that that's you, Scorpio. You don't tend to daydream. Not really. Um, th this feels like someone is daydreaming about something. Something to do with you. Also, the colour purple as well uh, is really, really significant. And purple pertains to intuition and spirituality. So... If, if possible, maybe even keep like a dream diary or something because you will be finding intuitive messages are hitting you thick and fast in your dreams. And if you can, if, if you can try to remember your dreams, write them down because you'll find something really interesting in there. Right, so we're going to ask some specific questions about the person that you're dealing with in love. And we'll see what comes out for you. All right. So the first question I usually ask, I didn't get a, I didn't get a chance there to ask the question because the cards just came shooting out. The first question that I usually ask in the how do they feel about you readings is how how does Scorpio's person see Scorpio? And your first card out is the star. That's Aquarian energy. The Three of Swords is Libra energy. The Nine of Cups is Piscean. And the Five of Wands is Leo. So someone sees that you're doing something. And that this is something that quite possibly is um, public. It could be, but it doesn't have to be with that. Right? There's... A message here, Scorpio, someone thinks that the, the type of work that you're doing right now or something that you're doing um, or even a frame of mind that you're, that you're taking on right now it stems from some kind of hurt, right? So if you can imagine this is someone who's making a lot of assumptions about you basically, which is fair enough because I guess we all do that to some extent or another to, to other people. Um, but th this is like an assumption that you're hurting and whatever it is that you're currently doing 
either it's a line of work or a frame of mind or something else that you're doing this is actions that you're taking based on some kind of hurt right and then you've got nine of cups five of wands so again th this is someone who i'm not feeling is in in the fold um you tend to keep your circle of friends very small and very close to you this is someone who's not inside that particular circle this is someone who is on the outside looking in definitely um the, the reasons i'm saying that is because we've got wish fulfillment but then there's some kind of a conflict surrounding that all right so they see that you're doing good you're doing well albeit they assume that you're coming from a place of hurt whether or not that's true that depends on your own personal opinion okay it's probably not but according to them they they would like some kind of communication that they, they would like something tangible from you but right now you're you're busy right so they feel that this that this is a weird conflict here um because there's two things right this is someone who thinks that you're conflicted like internally conflicted but there's also a conflict surrounding specifically them as well i'm just going to clarify this five of wands here because it's obviously it's not making sense to me and it wouldn't do um i'll try and get some further clarity why is the five of wands here please and how are they seeing scorpio please justice libra energy balance um okay so this this there's been a misunderstanding here scorpio uh, this individual has misjudged you they've misjudged you they've misunderstood something and they've to some extent with this justice card to clarify that they they've been a bit shallow-minded when it comes to you somehow some way um because they've they've based a lot of their truth on the assumptions that they've made about you and it, it feels unfair so that there's a conflict between what they assumed about you and how you actually are um there, there's definitely this misalignment between that so they, they've categorically misjudged you at some point They're seeing that you're doing really, really well, though, with that Nine of Cups, really well. And you might even have, like, a lot of competition around you for your attention on something with that Five of Wands. Because it can be jealousy, yes, but it's also a competition, conflict. Given what other cards it comes out with, it can also be, like, a cheeky banter as well. Right, what's in their heart space, please, towards Scorpio? Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarian energy. Okay, in their heart space, they feel that there is something quite karmic or destined about this situation. Eight of Cups is Pisces, Page of Coins is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Lovers is Gemini. Right, um interesting as well the fact that your cards are coming out in sets of four instead of in sets of three threes is what i usually go for so the number four is significant it's either the number four or the fourth house which is a cancerian house it's the house of a family past home uh, the, the the roots that you put in place your private life right um okay in their heart space it's 
that this is quite complicated. It's telling me that that they're waiting. That they're waiting for you to walk away from something. That they're waiting for the right time. You see, the Eight of Cups is um, in traditional tarot, it's Lord of Abandoned Success, which is why it's someone walking away from something. Um, in their heart space, they're, they're either waiting for you to walk away from something or they, they've tried to disengage from the connection with you and they've failed to do so. Because for some reason or other, everything comes back to you. With the page of coins, there's a potential olive branch here that is sitting in their heart, waiting to come out into the physical. So expect someone to, to reach out to you, Scorpio, with an olive branch. Someone is trying to rectify something with you here. They're, they're trying to make up for something with the intent of a union. What actions will they likely take, please, towards Scorpio? Oh, Ten of Swords, Gemini energy, and the Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. Heavy Gemini vibe in this read. Um, so either you're dealing with a Gemini, you've got Gemini someplace in your chart, or, or this individual that you've been having issues with is now finally able to see both sides of the coin. They're able to see both sides of the situation and they're able to have enough gumption about themselves to, to realize that the assumptions that they made about you were incorrect. There's a lot of worry here in their energy with that Nine of Swords. And with that being actions towards you, it's clarified with death. That's the major arcana for a scorpion. So you've shown up in your own read, Scorpio. Um, confirmation that this is coming towards you rather than from you as well. So what we're looking at here is they, they have been very, very worried and concerned about communicating to you. They, they would certainly like to, to rectify something, to make up for something. Um, I will be honest, I'm not seeing an apology here, right? So please do bear that one in mind and ensure that this individual, their actions match up to their words and vice versa. Because as I say, I'm not seeing an apology. It's like they know in their heart of hearts that they were wrong, right? They know that they've got a lot of making up for something to do, um, but getting to that point physically is another thing entirely because we've got ten of swords and nine of swords. So it's going to be really, really painful for them to come forward with this, but it also feels inevitable as well, Scorpio, because this is someone who they, they don't want things to be kept hanging in the way that they have been. It's like they would like clarification one way or the other as to whether or not is this over or can it be can it be reborn? Okay, so they, they would like some kind of clarification one way or the other. Um, their fear surrounding your answer is their reason behind um, taking so long with this and for, for not keeping things clear. Um, a lot of this is to do with their fear that it's like that they're terrified of you saying no, basically. The blockage, the five of coins, yeah, that's Taurus energy. Um, so it's confirmation that this is an individual who is outside of your trusted circle with that five of coins, because it's all about the lack mentality. Someone who is um, 
pushed out, left out, forgotten about, abandoned, or they feel abandoned. Um, this individual might have ghosted you as well, Scorpio, or you them, you might have ghosted them. Either way, it confirms that there's been a lack of communication between yourselves for quite a while. And that is going to make it really, really difficult for this individual who quite clearly is looking for some kind of closure. Um, but for some reason or other, what you do is making that difficult for them to come back in. Um, there, there's something surrounding what you do for for you for your job what what you do f to make a living is complicating their ability to make their return i don't know why that would be again we've already pinned down that this is someone who is making a lot of really ridiculous and incorrect assumptions about you so just remember that whatever their problem is it's for them to sort out it's not for you to fix them right what's hidden under there there's six of coins yeah um, the Six of Coins is Moon in Taurus energy. That's all about equality, equal exchange, equal give and take, balance, fairness. Um, you are going from the Five of Coins to the Six of Coins. So there's, there's progression here. There's something in the works that is uh, moving in the right direction at the very least. Mm, it's it's an interesting one. Okay, can we get further clarity, please, for Scorpio? Okay, right, top two then. Right, so you've got love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know, and gratuity. Being gracious, abundant mindset, high frequency, positivity, and attracting what you want. So, I'm just trying to put the card deck away. Um, yeah, th this is a really, really difficult conversation that somebody's wanting to have with you, Scorpio, because they don't know where you stand. They don't know where you stand with them. Um, now, obviously, I don't know if this is an X. For some of you, it could be, because we do see here that there is clearly uh, a fear in their energy about, is this over or can it be re reborn? Um, why would they be saying that if it wasn't an X? Or th this could be, I don't know, like a member of your family or something. Um, someone who loves you and they, they've never really let you know. Um, remembering that this doesn't necessarily have to be romance, although for some of you it is, right? And for, for some of you as well, this could simply just be a situation that um, never, never really got anywhere per se. It, this is a situation very much of should we, shouldn't we, but it never... It never really got further than that. So we're seeing this difficult conversation that your person is going to initiate specifically to you in the hope that they can, um, at the very least, come in, come into your inner circle. And at the very best, they're hoping for some kind of a union with you. Gratuity. Keep the high frequency going. Keep that abundant mindset going because you, you are legitimately attracting what you want out of your life right now. Okay, so it's keep, keep that going, basically. soulmate yes this is your soulmate and this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner that you seek mm -hmm. yeah 
at the bottom of that deck there you did have past life relationship as well so whatever situation this is that you're dealing with scorpio um it's a member of your soul family there's a very very strong connection here either it was never completely acknowledged in the past or it was probably by them taken for granted okay we're seeing a resurgence of somebody that you already know um, but what type of connection you had with them beforehand is difficult to say it's really 50 50 because for some of you this is an ex and for others of you this is a situation that never never got to that union stage guide a guide mentor or trustworthy ally a spirit guide wishes to make healing contact with you uh, you're more grounded, enriched, and truly yourself than ever before. So that would explain why we were seeing dreams coming out as your first card. Yes, you do have spirit guides around you who are trying to get your attention. And for the most part, they're trying to get your attention through your dreams. The magic of the Kohelendruith, caution, secrecy, wary. Someone might try to use you for their own gain. It's, it's what? It's up to you to determine your own wellness and appearance. Okay, so, huh, and you've got the unseen under there. Um, someone finds it very, very difficult to get a good read on you, Scorpio. You're very, very difficult to read. Um, you've got a good poker face, basically. So that would play quite a bit into those misunderstandings. Um, someone coming to the wrong conclusions about you because they couldn't get a good read on you, right? Um, be mindful if, if this is an X, for those of you where this is specifically an X, be mindful because there is a lot that is currently not being said. There is something about too much secrecy uh, them deliberately withholding quite a lot of stuff from you so you need to be on guard with that okay um, because an ex might not be completely truthful right now so be aware of that and for others of you this feels a lot like a, a possible secret admirer situation okay with that too much is hidden from you uh, secrecy feelings um, because going by your tarot read you, you've you got a situation on your hands where either you're in love with somebody and you never told them or someone's in love with you and they never told you okay it's all going to come out though the this can only stay secret for so long before it gets to that pivotal point of um, of it needing to come out. I mean, I, I've made this analogy before in, you, in one of your readings, Scorpio, where it's a lot like a pressure cooker. Um, you know, there, there's only so hot that pan's going to get before something disastrous happens. Scorpio please passion a magnetic and seductive quality is surrounding you at present so enjoy it interesting okay and wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course right so you might want to act quickly when they come out with this you've been advised to avoid acting too quickly because there's something here about this individual is needing to prove that they can be trusted that there is trust here that's um, a big big message Okay, North Node, step out of your comfort zone 
and the North Node pertains to your potential. And it says, I know that I'm headed in the right direction. So try not to lose your way here, Scorpio. Try not to allow, um, try, try not to allow your feelings to run away with you, basically. Um, th there is a message here pertaining to being distracted from your current path. And you don't want to be getting distracted right now because it feels like you're on the verge of something quite big with that star energy. Um, you, you're about to hit something quite significant in your life at this point. And the last thing that you're needing is like the, this distraction. Hmm. It says you're headed for something that feels like destiny. Yeah, facing a fear, taking fearless action towards your life purposes, and you've got this. So yeah, <laughs> that that would be where that feeling was coming from then. Um, you're working on something right now that is part of your destiny and you don't wanna be uh, sidetracked from that. Also, this particular situation or this connection with this individual, whoever they are, it does feel like destiny. It, it does feel like something that, um, that, that is really significant. It can be quite a scary prospect as well. You know, when, whenever you think about this individual, it can, it, it can make you scared um, because of the intensity of that particular soul connection. And that's, particular fear was very clearly felt on both sides and we are seeing Scorpio that your person is going to be facing their fear. I'm getting the impression that you're dealing with someone who isn't great when it comes down to emotions. Okay, Stressful situations, they're a lot like you. They can handle stressful situations. That's not a problem. But it's the emotions that's tied in with this situation. And it's the emotion side of things that they're not great at. And if, if you want to know where I'm getting that from, simple is the fact that they've kept everything so well hidden from you. And vice versa, to some extent, you've kept things so well hidden from them also. So, yeah, th th this is very much uh, a reading where you're mirroring each other. I have a healing message, please, Scorpio. Okay. Right, so you've got Solitarinus. Solitariness, desert. Okay, so you get three messages that come with these cards. Your first message comes from the creator of the deck. Your second and most important message comes from your own intuition while you're looking at the card. And then your third message comes from your reader and their intuition. So it says, there is a difference between being alone or solitary and being lonely. Feeling confident to spend time alone is powerful. You do not need so much. Working on developing simplicity, there is more to life than accumulating objects. You can be resilient and adapt to difficult circumstances. And the element that rules this card is fire. So, Scorpio, it could well have been that you were dealing with someone um, who was far more interested in uh, what things they have in their physical world and they didn't really play too much into love. Um, again, with, with that thing with their emotions being a bit off center, um, they, they certainly might have put a lot of emphasis on physical things and then they've realized those things money anything like that wasn't actually bringing them any kind of happiness and th they realized quite quickly exactly how lonely they they were um see with this five of coins here that tells me that at some point either you disappeared or they disappeared from the connection 
Either way, this disappearance act has made them really analyse how lonely they are. It's like they, they might have looked around, seen that they've got all of these beautiful things, but they don't have Scorpio. So it's it's bitten them on the ass a bit here and they, they've actually realised where their priorities lie now as well. So this seems like a very necessary transition that they've had to go through and i tell you what else as well see with this combination ten of swords nine of swords death that can indicate a dark night of the soul as well scorpio's focus please All right <laughs> flamingo Enjoying friends, balancing chaos, dealing with your emotions, mastering your energy and vibrations. So that's your focus, is to master your energy and your vibrations. Continue working on that, all right? Enjoy yourself, enjoy spending your time in good company that you enjoy. Depending on where you are in the world, of course, you might have to do that um, over the internet. Um, I know certainly we're, we're pretty much still in lockdown. So yeah, um, socializing is, is key here. And past programming, choose your beliefs, recognize false stories, external conditioning, make decisions that support your goal. Interesting, because one of the things about a scorpion is they have to really focus hard on this past programming, okay? <clears throat> so you'll know if that message is for you or if it's for your person. There is something about your person's energy, Scorpio, where they were still very much being held hostage by their past programming. And their dark night of the soul has been addressing exactly that. And that's why they've come to this realisation, shit, Physical stuff means nothing. The true meaning of life, I hate to sound cheesy, is love. That's what they've realised. Right, so this deck, it does come with a warning because it's very, very similar to the Rebel deck, okay? It can get quite foul-mouthed and a bit brutal. So obviously if you're not into that sort of thing, then you might want to switch out now. Have a bonus message, please, to Scorpio. Okay. To become more fluid, add wine. To chill, try ice cube. Dance in the storm. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Um, it feels quite carefree. Um, yeah, okay then. So your guidance is basically focus on being more carefree, focus on giving less of a fuck about what someone else may or may not be getting up to. Um, focus on having fun. I, I, do you know, I, I was going to say, I've seen that come out in someone's private read once, where the guidance at the end was go out and have fun. Um, and I think as far as guidance goes, that's a pretty damn good one. Uh, so yeah, that is what I have for you, Scorpio. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys, so I just wanted to do this extra segment at the end of the videos uh, to explain my table theme throughout the month of March. So my table theme is dedicated to a really beautiful kind soul. She's called Karen. I'm not going to give her full name, obviously, because I would like to uh, protect her full identity. Uh, but she's called Karen and she's from the Maliseet tribe, which means the people of the beautiful river. And she sent me this, I hope I, I hope I can pronounce it correctly. She sent me this Willamaskill 
which is sweet grass and it's grown in her territory and it's actually one of their four sacred medicines so it's really really special uh, she taught me how to use it properly and how to look after it and she also sent this beautiful dream catcher as well and that was actually handmade by a Mi'kmaq elder and I keep this on my wall close to me at all times and she also sent me this beautiful handmade card as well I am completely and utterly grateful for her kindness and her generosity it's absolutely incredible and that's why I wanted to dedicate this month's theme purely to Karen and to, to her tribe and to her people to her culture um, it's honestly um, to to have these items that are so utterly special is just so incredible i'm so grateful i'm so so proud as well uh, so thank you so much karen wally one